It's a club with a long and proud history. The legendary Nat Lofthouse may stand guard over that tradition, but the players who've succeeded him in the white shirt of Bolton Wanderers are on the brink of doing something he never did, refusing to play. When Wanderers came off the pitch a week ago, having been beaten and relegated from the Championship, they hadn't been paid in seven weeks. Now they say unless they get last month's wages by midnight tonight, they won't take the pitch tomorrow or for the rest of the season. In a statement they said, With deep regret, we have decided not to fulfil our remaining fixtures unless we are paid. We understand that this will disappoint our fans and for this we sincerely apologise. We realise this may be seen as drastic action, but we feel we have no other option left. Bolton were found members of the Football League and theirs is a playing history that stretches back well over a century. And until now, the only interruptions to that history were two world wars. Come on, we need to go. We can't be a nil-nil. We need to go. The club's players have trained this season against a background of financial turmoil. Although Bolton avoided going into administration, a planned takeover of the club has yet to be approved by the Football League. It's left many club employees, not just players, waiting to be paid. Fans groups say they shouldn't be made to suffer. There are 400 important people with jobs that they should be paid for doing uh, and uh, as far as we're concerned we want something to shout at and shout about uh, and, and it's their jobs that are more important. The club has not made any public response to the players ultimatum. The team they're due to play tomorrow, Brentford, have already travelled to the North West and say they expect the fixture to go ahead. Whether it does or not will depend on what happens in the next two hours. Damon Green, News at 10, Bolton.